Gaming Bolt presents 15 new things you need to know about Deus Ex, Mankind Divided. We have a lot to cover here, so let us begin right away. Save files will not carry over. While Deus Ex, Human Revolution game, with the story that progressed based on the choices you made throughout the game, its sequel, Mankind Divided will not allow players to import their save files. This is a tricky step by the developers, since Human Revolution had different endings that players could choose between, but they have to come up with a canon that proves as a backdrop for Mankind Divided. According to this canon, there are conflicting reports about the Og incident, the climax of Human Revolution, and that no one really knows what exactly happened. It'll be interesting to see how Mankind Divided handles this, especially considering the fact that the protagonist in both the games is the same. Improved Boss Battles One of the major criticisms leveled at Deus Ex Human Revolution was that its boss fights were poorly designed and simply did not match up with the consistently high quality of the rest of the game. People complained that if they were to focus on developing the hacking or stealth branches of their characters more, boss fights would be favored unfavorably against them, not to mention the fact that they were just poorly designed in general. Well, it looks like developers Eidos Montreal are going to fix that issue with Mankind Divided, and they have promised that boss fights will be better designed, and designed in a way that players can tackle them with both an offensive approach and a stealthy approach. Stealth in Boss Battles Which brings us to the next point. Unlike in Human Revolution, Deus Ex Mankind Divided will allow players to complete the entirety of the game without ever killing anyone, and that includes bosses. Yes, players will not have to kill bosses to defeat them, and will have the option to take them down using stealth. It'll be interesting to see how the boss designs permit that, as well as the regular combat scenarios, not to mention whether or not those two separate approaches will have any effect on the story. Remote Hacking Hacking played a major role in Human Revolution, and it'll be an equally integral part of the gameplay in Mankind Divided. However, Adam Jensen will now no longer have to physically walk over to a terminal or a computer to hack it. Instead, players will now be able to hack electronics manually, from door locks to cameras to drones. Players will have the ability to hack anything they want from distances once they have the augmentations required. It remains to be seen if this will maybe make the players a bit overpowered, but hopefully the game will find a way to keep the balance intact. A more mobile Adam Jensen Well, sure, Adam Jensen is practically half robot, at least, but it looks like that he will be a much nimbler and more mobile vessel for the players in Mankind Divided. I mean, sure he won't be an Altair, but with the help of new augmentations, players will have much better mobility in Deus Ex game. One specific augmentation, for example, known as the Icarus Dash, will allow players to essentially teleport, much like Corvo's ability in Dishonored. Weapon Customization Given how heavily reliant Human Revolution was on gunplay, it was a surprise that it didn't lend more depth to that part of its gameplay. Mankind Divided, however, looks like it will be working on that issue, since weapons in the game will be customizable. Don't expect deep, layered customizability like you would expect to see in something like Battlefield, but certainly things such as site customization and ammunition customization will be included in the game. New Augmentations Augmentations are, of course, the centerpiece of the Deus Ex experience, as Human Revolution showcased only too well, and we can't wait to see what kinds of new augmentations Mankind Divided will bring our way. Some of these, though, have already been confirmed and showed off, and they look excellent. Like Icarus Dash, which was mentioned earlier. For example, the Icarus Strike, which is an excellent way to disable your enemies while also making a dramatic, moving-like landing. Or the ability to shoot tasers from your arm. Or the ability to shoot pulses across rooms to disable drones. There is much and more that we still do not know about, and we can't wait to see the new augmentations in action when the game launches. Enemy Augmentations Eidos Montreal have confirmed that Mankind Divided will have more augmented enemy units than its predecessor, meaning that they will prove to be more of a challenge to the player. Enemies in the game will cloaking and shielding 
and will be able to dash from one place to another. This should prove to be an interesting upgrade, and should hopefully make combat more tense and fast-paced. What's more, cloaked enemies who can dash between locations quickly should prove to be tricky in stealth scenarios. Superman Punch You know how a lot of players complain human revolution sometimes punish them for going the lethal route? Yeah, well, Eidos Montreal heard you. They heard you well. If you want to bare your knuckles and get in in some one-on-one -on -one combat, well, then this new move that the developers have compared to a Superman punch is a brand new move available to Adam Jensen, which does exactly what it sounds like. For combat-oriented players, this new move will be your friend. Gun Arms and Human Revolution Adam Jensen had retractable blades attached to his prosthetic arms that could be used for silent melee kills and Mankind Divided, Jensen will also have similar guns attached to his forearms. They won't be able to hold a lot of ammunition, and at times their recharge time may be long, but the developers have added this feature to give players an extra option if they ever want one, in case they run out of ammo or lose weapons or just cannot switch between weapons on the fly. This should definitely improve the pacing of the combat. Battle Rifle Deus Ex has always had imaginative weapons. Given the excellent cyberpunk setting, it makes sense that it would. So it should come as no surprise that with Mankind Divided, developers Eidos Montreal will be looking to add more weapons to the Deuce X arsenal. The battle rifle is one such new weapon, and while not much is known about it, players will appreciate all the firepower that they can get. Truth, Choice, and Consequence The developers from Eidos Montreal have admitted that choices in Human Revolution did not always carry a lot of weight, and they intend to tackle that issue in this game, and have also claimed that the ending of the game will be accumulation of the choices we make throughout the narrative, not just a simplistic final moment that boils down to giving us the choice of pressing one or two or three buttons. Meaningful Side Quests Side quests are the bane of most RPGs. Tried side quest objectives, which usually devolve into collectathons, have been the bane of most RPG players' existences for years now. Deus Ex, Mankind Divided, however, shall be attempting to sidestep this trend. The developers are promising that they have made side quests with meaningful objectives that will involve moral choices and introduce players to new characters. Hopefully these side quests will integrate with the larger game in a meaningful way. Breach Mode Deus Ex Mankind Divided will offer more than just the campaign in the form of the quasi-multiplayer breach mode. This will essentially throw players into different maps, though not as Adam Jensen, littered with defenses that you will have to get through using your augmentations and weapons and what you have, all of which you will begin before selecting your map in the form of a loadout. Breach mode will also include online leaderboards and score challenges. While it doesn't sound like a complex new mode, it might prove to be a fun distraction that can help players take a break from the campaign if they should ever feel the need to just want to jump into the core of the action without having to worry about the narrative. New Game Plus Like so many other RPGs, Deus Ex Mankind Divided will have a New Game Plus mode, providing players a chance to try different story paths, dialogue choices, and play styles than what they might have gone for in their first playthrough of the game. What all will be carried over from your save into the New Game Plus, however, is currently unknown. Hopefully Eidos Montreal managed to strike a good balance. Like this video? Why not give us a like and subscribe? We try and upload amazing videos almost every single day. Thank you for watching this video and we'll see you on the next one.